Hey, so, uh, name and gender change in Anchorage, Alaska. So, I just got out of the courthouse. And in two weeks, I will be receiving a certificate of name change. And the process wasn't too bad. It was kind of annoying. I went in to the um, courthouse downtown and I just filed for a petition of name change. It cost me $200 to file. And it had to be in their system for 40 days. Then I received a letter in the mail, which I'm looking at, um, that let me know uh, court date, uh, time, and all that. So I was very, very anxious about going into court. So it was very, it shouldn't have been as nerve-wracking as I made it, but I just, it was so nerve-wracking to me. And <laughs> I, was, I was, I swear I was scared. But I went in, met the judge, just let him know that I'm not doing this to avoid fraud or, or defraud. I don't, I don't remember what they worded it, and I can't think of it right now because I'm like, I'm very, very happy. But yeah, you just have to uh, confirm that you're not doing it to avoid any legal things or mm, stuff. So yeah, as far as... Uh, shoot, I covered the camera. As far as gender change, now I am not going in to change my gender just yet. But, um, I'm looking at it right now. So, the DMV, like, you go on to the state of Alaska DMV page, they have where you can print out a certification for change of se sex designator on a driver license or identification card. That's how I did it. Um, I believe there are other ways, like, if you amend your birth certificate, which I don't. I don't, I didn't do that, so I don't know how that works, so I can't give any advice on that one. But, um, so yeah, I got this. You have to have a licensed provider, uh, sign it, uh, certify, and it can be a physician. So me, it was my, um, my primary care doctor who's been very helpful. It is actually the doctor that prescribes my testosterone. So that was pretty awesome. So my doctor actually printed it out for me, signed it, and filled every everything out. Like the professional license and all that. Like professional license number, filled all that out for me. And uh, yeah. And then I signed my bit of it, uh, filled out my part, and I'm not going to take it in just yet. The paperwork is it, it is the it is what I need to have filled out. It it's it's the right paperwork that I need. It's just I'm not gonna go in till I get the certificate of name change, just because I don't want to pay now to just change the the gender marker and then in two weeks. Go back and pay another amount to change the uh, name. It's kind of pointless. So yeah, oh, well, there's a cart. Look at this. Okay, getting distracted. Oh, that was that was so nerve wracking. I mean, it was it was. I I think I overthought it because it was not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. Okay, sorry for the awkward cut. My camera decided to fail on me. But yes. So, it was simpler than I, than I thought. Not too super simple, 
And, I mean, obviously it's a court thing, so they're not going to make it too easy. But it was much easier than I was expecting it to be. And I was afraid that, you know, um, I was honestly afraid, it's going to sound bad, but I was honestly afraid of admitting to the judge that I was a trans man. But they asked for a reason. Um, they asked you to kind of describe why you're doing this. I did tell them that, you know, I don't like the name, but I did you know, want to go on honesty as well. So I did admit that I am a trans man. I go by Carson at work. Um, at home, I go by Carson. And even my doctor refers to me as Carson because you can put down a, a preferred name in your, uh, your file. So, a doc uh, or do doctor. The judge at that point was like, well, it seems... Reason it seems like a reasonable reason. Um, explained to me how everything works. Explained uh, time frames. I guess it's it has to be in their system that it's official for a week, and then um, in a another week it should be sent out by you know another week. They told me if in two and a half weeks it does not show up, then I call them. Uh, give them my case number and figure it out. But I'm pretty pretty hopeful it'll come in without any other issues. Um, and also they say, like, uh, across the street from the courthouse I went to, which was on K Street, there is a place where I can, if I want copies of the name change certificate, I can get copies. Uh, it, I don't know how much that costs. Uh, the judge said it, it doesn't cost too much. Uh, didn't give me an exact number, though, so. Which I, I don't believe I, well, maybe I should get an, a copy just in case. Because I do plan on moving, so. Okay, that's some, that's something to think about when it comes in. Uh, for now, I'm not, I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm just thinking of the fact that it's done. Um, when I go in and get that done, I have my, my paper for the DMV from my doctor, so I'll be able to be able to change that as well um so yeah it's, it's pretty good i f i feel pretty good about it <sighs> it is it is honestly one of the most exciting things that has happened and I've been feeling down all week. So this is honestly like a highlight. This is this is something that I just I just feel so much better that I was able to get this done. So yeah, that was my experience with this. I'll probably uh update when I actually officially go in to get the change done but as far as i'm concerned it's 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 taken care of it's gonna happen i just have to wait for the certificate to come in so yeah uh that's it that's my experience with changing my name in anchorage alaska so um yeah which also my which still sounds weird. I'm still going through some sinus issues, so I still sound very nasally. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I'll catch you guys later.